Hey, Joe, what is this chemistry Olympiad problem asking? It's talking about some steady state, which I never learned in AP chemistry. I'll help you out, Donnie. The first step in this problem is to find the rate of product formation. Well, that's just the rate of the second step. So it's key times concentration of CH3, 3C plus, times concentration of azide. Right, but we can't have an intermediate in our rate law, and this is where steady state approximation comes in. We set D intermediate concentration over D equal to zero. Well, hold up, you need calculus for this? No, don't worry, Donnie, the differential is just a formal way of saying it, but all it really means is the rate of formation of intermediate equals the rate of its consumption. So tell me, Donnie, what is the rate of formation of the intermediate? So that would be the forward reaction in the first step. So K1 times tert botyl bromide. Nice. Now what's the rate of its consumption? That's the second reaction. K2 times CH3, 3C plus, times N3 minus. You missed an important part, Donnie. The intermediate is also getting consumed in the reverse reaction of the first reaction. Oh, you are right, Joe. That means the consumption of intermediate is actually the first reverse reaction rate plus the second reaction rate. You got it now, Donnie. Now it's just some algebra to solve for the concentration of the intermediate on its own and then substitute it into the original rate law to get the final answer. Thanks, Joe. It turns out steady state isn't such a hard concept.